So how do we insert labels into our class? And I'm in the demo area in my class. The first thing I'm going to have to do is turn editing on. And I'm going to go ahead and add an activity or a resource. So when I click that, I see label as the second resource available down here. So I click add. And the text box looks like every other text box uh, in Moodle, allowing us to do these functions and to hit the drop down to get even more functions. Now, if I'm going to add something like text, I can just type the text in. And when I put save, that text is just going to be something that shows up in Moodle that I can move around. You saw in mine I have big bold lines on there. There used to be a line tool in Moodle that just uh, you would hit and it would put a line on it. That doesn't exist anymore. So if you want to add a bold line to break up uh, your sections in Moodle um, with some kind of a, a label, you have to switch to HTML mode and then just put bracket HR bracket in there. And I didn't do brackets at all. I didn't hit my shift key. And if you put that in there and hit the button, you can see that it just added a line. And that line that you put in with HR goes as far as you can see it. So you can see it only goes this far right now. But when I turn editing off, it goes the entire length of the page. If I docked everything on one side and then got bigger, that's the best way to make a line to break up things uh, in your Moodle site. Now you can add other things in there as well. So if we go back to edit this label, actually I'll just add another one and we go in here, we can add um, pictures in here either by hitting the picture tool button, uh, which is right here. If I want to add a picture, I can go and browse to it. So if I had a picture already pulled, I could insert just the address or the URL there. So if I go over here to National Trail and I say I want to copy um, the address of this, I can go there and just put that in there. Um, it recommends that we put, for screen reader support, that you put um, a description of the image here. It says right there, describe the image for somebody who can't see it. You can't save it unless you put a description there or click here that says description not necessary. And then when I hit that, it, it uh, will let you save the image. There we go. And by the way, I didn't wasn't able to save the image because when I went over here, I, I needed to click on it and right click and say copy image address. Um, I co copied the link address. So if you copy that image address and drop it in there, then you see it shows up. I can resize this if I wanted to so it's a little smaller. And then I can add that in there. And you could do that with any image in there. You can also, if you're editing it, you can drag and drop pictures as well in Moodle now. So if I wanted to drag this E-Day picture in there, for instance, if this is my E-Day section, I can drag that in there, center it up, and hit save. And the picture will automatically be embedded uh, into Moodle as well. And again, I know I said centered, but and it doesn't look like it. But once I turn editing off, those things that are centered will show up there. I can also add YouTube videos. So if I want to um, embed a YouTube video right on my page, I can use a label to do that as well. And adding videos or YouTubes on, our, on the site in any Moodle text box is incredibly easy. So if I want to add a video here, I can go to any video in YouTube, grab the address right off the top, and drop it right in the label and Moodle will automatically embed that um, as a playable video on your site. Again, it looks like it's cut, but once I turn off, um, it'll show the video full size. So I can use it for videos, pictures, or text, and most commonly the label is used to organize the site better so that students can find things by putting headers and breaks in there and into particular chapters so that it's easier for students to find information.